doing now what patients need next, Roche is using data analytics to transform the lives of people facing catastrophic illness. Roche is a pharmaceutical company looking to produce medicines first in class and then best in class. So here we look to, towards the, some of the disease areas such as oncology, information, immunology, um, and really look to push the boundaries uh, in terms of medicines and helping patients' lives. Founded in 1896 with revenues of 42 billion euros, Switzerland-based Roche is the third largest pharmaceutical company in the world and the number one biotech company. Roche also claims healthcare companies Genentech and Chugai. Our, our company is, is quite old, but that kind of company is just grown organically. Uh, and now we're at a stage where the company is actually a company of companies and we have data silos within the company. But we need to reach a point quickly where we can utilize that data. The cost of developing a, a, a drug now is over 800 million uh, euros. It could take eight to 10 years. The vision for Roche, accelerate that timeline with integrated data, analytics, and data reuse. That could be the difference between life and death for patients and a game changer for Roche and drug development. Roche developed Glide, a next generation data architecture. Glide leverages a Teradata integrated data warehouse and changed the way Roche scientists operate and discover. As soon as we implemented the Teradata infrastructure to Glide real world data, everything improved overnight. Databases that were taking weeks to load in the, in the old system were now taking hours in the new system. Uh, analytics that you, we used to run overnight now takes minutes. And that, that decrease in processing time allows our scientists really to make uh, real-time decisions because we've got that kind of real-time processing, which we never had before. Now, Roche brings in multiple new data sources, critical to the advancement and more rapid development of pharmaceuticals. That data leads Roche towards big sky thinking for medicine, enabling predictive modeling to target medicines to individual patients, depending on their genetic makeup. Easier repurposing of drugs through the mining of treated patients and their outcomes. Real-time drug trials flexible, fast capture, management, and analytics of medical data. Roche knows the right people, the right data architecture, and improved processes will enhance the future of medicine. Right now it's quite a manual process, you know, you, 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 go, to the, you go to a lab, you look at the medicine, you find five patients, but if we could replace that with a computer modelling, so you go to a computer uh, and you say this is the medicine I want to analyse, and the computer would turn around and say, well this would be the potential impact to a patient. Um, that kind of biological computer modelling would be amazing because then you could analyze hundreds, thousands of molecules quickly, rather than the one or two that we go through. And then we can pick up the real, the real gem to say this will really improve patient lives. Because Roche uses data from global sources, including patient data from government trials and real world data, privacy and security are critical. But those data sources could be the difference to fast tracking drug trials, saving hundreds of millions. So let, let's say, for example, we're developing a medicine for, for breast cancer. Now, this medicine might be quite unique, but there's lots, of, there's lots of medicines out there for breast cancer across different companies, which are kind of generating their own data. So the, the patient groups, social media, hospital data. If, we, if we're able to extract the right data from these different data groups that are linked to our particular drug, that might tell us more about the likelihood of the future of that medicine moving forward and then may tell us, yeah, this is going to be a good drug to develop and will be successful. Data and advanced analytics could cut the 8 to 10 year drug development timeline by three years and alert Roche to negative outcomes before too much money and research has been spent. Roche could also use data from past clinical trials, saving patients from unnecessary exposure to experimental treatments. So one example is a, is a medicine that we have called rituximab. Um, that was initially approved for oncology and cancer. Um, and then uh, there, there was a really clever scientist doctor who looked at a small group of patients and he noticed one of the side effects of that drug was to reduce the inflammation 
of patients. Now we need to take that kind of observation and turn it to kind of an algorithm to allow computers to go away and maybe look at data and say, actually looking at small groups of patients in say um, South Korea to California to, to London, there's actually a correlation here where we could use this medicine in a different area and then that would pop up and say to scientists, right, start investigating somewhere else and that could lead to somewhere different for that medicine without investing lots of money and time. For the future, Roche is planning to implement Teradata Aster within Teradata Unified Data Architecture, allowing them to bring in additional data streams like IoT, eliminating the manual process of professionals recording patient actions. Now we can get rid of all of that by giving um, the patient an inhaler with a biosensor that can record the number of puffs they take, how much they've taken of the drug, what drug they've taken, date and time stamp as well. And we know that information is 100% correct because it's come straight from that patient, that inhaler. And so that information will connect, then be sent off to a database. When IoT sensor data is combined with other business sectors, its value soars. Roche, doing now what patients need next with data and advanced analytics.